A big welcome back to everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you a, um, a video. This is the uh, telemetry video of a flight that I uploaded yesterday. I, I uploaded a flight. It looked very smooth and uh, problem free, but I want to show you some problems that actually did occur. Um, starting with kind of uh, a rushed takeoff. Uh, we saw the boat there and I really wanted to get out and film it, so I took off and not thinking about it, we, you know, I calibrated it really quickly, sat it down, I was waiting for it to warm up, ran out, first thing I did, as soon as I get it going, you see I start chasing that boat, and um, I saw a little flicker there where it said safe to fly non-GPS, that's kind of odd, um, and then uh, I didn't notice at the time, but you'll notice lower right, you'll see that the uh, my arrow is actually traveling backwards for the direction, but the uh, camera's obviously facing forward, um, these are things I didn't notice at this stage in the flight. Um, then I did briefly notice some uh, changes there, and then I got compass error. And I was thinking, okay, but uh, then it seemed okay. I was flying okay, um, then all of a sudden compass error again. And the, um, the drone was actually started drifting, like that wasn't me flying it over there, that's uh, a drift on its own so when I uploaded the video it looks great you think oh well, you know he's panning out or something actually I wasn't that was the drone doing that and then here I regained control I was back in GPS um, flying uh, over over to the ship and uh, we'll see then I was kind of worried that I was going to hit it so I came up but uh, we'll see, uh, again, there's going to be more issues, and I'm going to explain what happened, I believe. is um, uh, It's in the manual or, or online, wherever I read it, it warns you about uh, calibrating around metal structures, and here I go drifting again, um, or uh, underground parking garages, things like that. Well, what I wasn't thinking was that that whole pier is lined in uh, corrugated sheet metal um, with concrete and rebar. So I'm, I'm going to guess that setting it down on there um, has a problem. If you see, it keeps flicking in and out, in and out. Now, I, w I was kind of dumb. I, I, kept, uh, I kept wanting my shot. So even though I should have been landing, I stayed out and got my shot. Now, it's, I didn't lose all control or anything. It seems that it, at first I didn't realize what it was doing, but it seems that I have... Uh, um, a attitude mode so I'm just I'm flying without GPS and then so kind of once I realized that it was drifting everywhere then I was like oh I can actually take over at one point though I took click take go home you see what happens it starts shaking compass error so almost immediately I cancel that because it started screwing off and uh, yeah it starts going nuts there and I, I believe to me what the problem is is the uh, the direction because the compass thinks it's facing in the opposite direction of what it really is I think that's what's causing the problem so I wanted to upload this version of the video just to say to people that get this and I believe it's going to be the same for a Cheerson um, be careful where you calibrate and I've sat and tried to think when oh, no, I Cheerson did a fly off is there possible that there was anything in the ground that um, you know that could have messed up the compass because you can clearly see this one's messed up if you look at all the zigzagging and you know cutting in and out that's not that's not intentional by any means so um, I did manage to get it back safely you'll see I'm bringing it in in a second here um, at this point I was talking to a guy out on the pier and a buddy that was with me and you know I, I was feeling pretty confident at this point that I was getting it back but there was a little while where I was worried um, that it wasn't going to happen. It, um, it makes for some scary moments, I'll tell you that much anyway. And, uh, yeah. So, lesson learned, I guess. Pretty well.